we want to go back and look at extreme examples of inflation. And we can look at modern day ones that's happening all around us in Lebanon, Turkey, Argentina, Venezuela. But we can go back to other examples like Zimbabwe in the 80s and 90s or back to Germany, right? And so we can see those things. And I think, unfortunately, that's what's coming. Again, not probably that extreme. And so, like I kind of said earlier, what would we have done to protect ourselves back then? So let's just use an example. So Turkey, for example, they has the, they have the Turkish lira. Um, the Turkish lira has lost about ninety five percent to the U.S. dollar in the last five years. So if I lived in Turkey and I had a time machine and I could go back five years, what should I do? If knowing that it was going to happen, what would I do? Well, I would not hold any Turkish lira. I would probably sell all my Turkish lira and go to the dollar. That would be better. Okay, that, that would be good. What would be better than that? Well, what would be better than that was I would take out a lot of debt denominated in Turkish lira. I'd buy as many houses and cart in Turkish lira knowing that it was going to be devalued. I, I, levered, I leveraged it up. That would be a better way. So now, knowing that that would be a playbook, and we talked about 1933, you know, just not being in that at all, not holding those assets. So that's how I think about this. I want to be out of the assets that they're going to devalue. And I want to hold real assets that will go up in value. And if I can use leverage for that, that's even better. Hey, this is Mark Moss, and you are watching Think Smart Education.